Hi, it's the Broker That Gratitude Guy. Christmas 2013. Well, today is Christmas. And I was thinking today as I got together with my two sons, we had a couple of places to go, but one of the things we did is we went out to breakfast together. And we met another individual, another friend. And as we walked away, it was interesting how we decided to go for a little walk before we went back to this restaurant. And we saw so few people. Which I thought was great. It was just a fantastic sign. In fact, it's really strange. It's maybe the one day of the year now that you see very few cars in parking lots anywhere or on the roads or whatever. Most people are with families. But what a great opportunity to, again, as we wrap up the year, think about how many things we're grateful for. I talk about so much of the time how we reframe and refocus our view of things. Certainly, the Gratitude Journal is a great way to do it. But Christmas Day, like today, is another reminder. Hopefully most of those people were with families and friends and I discussed in a recent video how there's a lot of depression and sadness around Christmas. Well, just by not seeing a lot of cars on the road and a lot of people out on the streets, the sidewalks, kind of set a message that maybe a lot of those people are, are with family and friends. But in any case, use this day, Christmas Day, to think about so many things you're grateful for and starting with your health and your family and friends and having a place to go and people that care about you in your life. So what a great reminder on this Christmas day. Have a grateful day today. Have a happy Christmas, a Merry Christmas. And then we'll be looking into the new year here before long and thinking about how we can continue to reframe our lives into everything we're grateful for as we go forward. That's the message for today. Have a Merry Christmas and have a grateful day. We'll see you tomorrow.